In today's video, I'll take you thrifting with me to a Goodwill and also to an awesome occasional shop called Linda's Cellar in Chaska, Minnesota. Here we go. This was the Goodwill in Hudson, Wisconsin. And honestly, on this day, the prices were not as good as usual, but I did like that they had some individual plates for $1.99 a piece because they used to just bunch all their plates together, which I don't always love because I sometimes just want one plate. So I was happy to see that they were selling individual plates again. I thought this was a really lovely pattern. I'm not looking for everyday dishes again, but I did think these would make a really pretty choice. I don't see a lot of Syracuse China at thrift stores, so it was fun to see this little stack of plates. When I go thrifting, I'm mostly looking for items to add to my own home and to my collections, but I do also have a little reselling space in a vintage shop nearby called the Pink Elephant, so sometimes I will pick up items for my little vintage space. I thought this little figurine was adorable. I'm pretty sure it was intended to be some version of Holly Hobby because it was American greetings, but I mostly stick to blue bonnet holly hobby, so I did leave that behind. I must have been distracted by something else, but I really like that dish there with the bluebird on the lid. And maybe it was chipped and I can't see it in the video, but I'm wondering why I didn't pick it up and look at it. <laughs> So that's all for the Goodwill. Let's head on over to Linda's Cellar. This is an occasional shop in Chaska, Minnesota. Occasional means it's only open one weekend 
a month. So you can find out on Facebook if you're in the area. You can look it up to find out which weekend it is. I don't know if it's the same weekend each month. I'm not really sure. A friend of mine told me about it. That's how I knew about it. But it was really, really fun and definitely worth checking out. I thought this was a super cute Valentine's Day tin for $6.50. I was definitely seriously thinking about it. <laughs> I love yellow wear bowls. These were really inexpensive, but that's because they had some really serious cracks that went all the way through the bowl. If there's like imperfections on one layer, like either the outside or the inside, I'll still get it. But I was really worried that these were just going to fall apart. So left them behind, but really fun to see them. I thought this was a really cute set of stackable coffee cups for $6. I took footage of this because I really would like to duplicate this. I think it's such a cute way to use a vintage Valentine. Thank you. 
If you've been here for any length of time, you know I love flower frogs, but these metal ones, I do have one. They're not super useful for how I like to display mine. And I do like colored ones, but I'm trying to stick with only colored glass. So those didn't quite fit my collections. I loved that they painted a Scrabble letter holder here and put Be Mine. I think that would be so cute to replicate. So I'm thinking of doing that. I have all the stuff that I need. I just don't have time. <laughs> going to show you my haul from three different stores even though I only took you into two different stores so I took you into Goodwill in Hudson Wisconsin and I took you into the occasional store Linda's Cellar in Chaska Minnesota by the way if you're ever making a day trip to the Goodwill outlet bins try to coordinate because Linda's Cellar is definitely worth a stop if you like vintage stuff I thought the prices were very fair so definitely worth checking it out plus there's a really cute little coffee shop on the corner there that's really nice so definitely a good little stop in your day trip but anyway there was also another store that I went into called Oh boy, people serving people maybe in Wisconsin. I don't remember the name of the town. It was kind of empty. There was not a lot in the shop. I don't know why. I don't know if they're like closing or what's going on. But I found some things for the shop and a really cute thing that I love. So I wanted to be able to show those to you even though I didn't have footage. So I'm going to stick that in here. It was on the same day as my Hudson, Wisconsin stop. So... Anyway, okay, so we'll start with that little shop first. So the things I got for the shop are some pint glasses. These sell really well for me. I don't know how their brewers will go over in Minnesota because it's a Wisconsin team. We'll see. I'm sure there's brewers fans here, but we'll see. I picked them up because they were interesting and um, they sell pretty well on eBay. So I thought, well, maybe. And then this one's just the Budweiser Clydesdales. So I got those. Oh, and these were all, I think, a dollar. Yeah, a dollar each. So I got this one, which I don't remember. I looked it up, but I don't really remember what that symbol is. And then this one is also the Brewers. That's a pretty classic Brewers symbol. So we'll see if anyone in Minnesota wants those. Oh boy. Okay, and then the other thing I found, I was so excited about this. It was $3. So this is an enamel bowl and I first saw it on the collection vintage Erin, if you're familiar with her, she had it in her Valentine display and I absolutely loved it or something like this. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but when I saw this, I was like, Oh, cause I saw hers. I was like, Oh my goodness. I love that so much. So really happy to find this. I will be working this into my decor. If I get it into the decor during the day, cause right now it's nighttime uh, and I can put <clears throat> footage in before I put this video up I will do that for you I just put the bowl here for this year 
since it's a late addition, I didn't want to have to change things around, but I think it looks cute there. Okay, then the Goodwill. So at the Goodwill, I only got two things because their prices were kind of high. I was disappointed. Hudson has historically been decently priced, but I thought their prices were high. But I did get the plates, the Syracuse China plates. Now, if you remember, when I bought those little dishes for my Valentine display, I found a saucer like this in the same pattern. Someone told me what it is, and now I can't remember. <laughs> But I found these four little bread plates, and I think they're gorgeous. I love this pattern. This is definitely another pattern I'm going to be looking for. I usually look for dogwood, I think, but I really like this. I like the pink. So I picked those up. I'm really on the hunt for a coffee cup to go with my saucer or teacup, whatever it would be. I think that would be cool. I put the stack of Syracuse china plates under my vintage wedding cake topper, mostly because the little saucer I was telling you about is right there, so... The collection is close to each other. Did I say this? These were $3.99, which, you know, was a little high, but it's Syracuse China, so I thought that was fine. And then the only other thing I got at Goodwill, if you hear noises, Molly and Chris are playing. Molly and Chris are playing with Penny in the other room. So um, I got this Johnson Brothers plate, dishwasher, freezer, and microwave safe. It's new. But I like the pattern. I just thought it was really pretty. And I like that it has this like scalloped edge. And because it's newer, I can actually use it if I want. So I will pick up, pick up modern pieces if I really like them. And I really like this one. And does it say the pattern? Doesn't say. It just says made in England. So I thought it was pretty. And it was $1.99. Here's where I put my blue plate. Is where I have my blue and white now and with my jadeite, some of my jadeite. And some of my other jadeite is in my Valentine display. But yeah, I think it looks great here. I'll move on to my finds from that other, the occasional store. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to show you first. I really like what I got. I only got four things, but I love them both. All, all, not both. Wow. Uh, I'll start with the little one. Okay, so I got this little ornament. It's pink beaded. Totally looks 50s or 60s. And I'm going to put this on my Valentine tree. And then I will have it on the Christmas, you know, on the uh, vintage tree for Christmas next year. But I just thought that was so, so pretty. I love it. Love, love, love. I think that was a dollar. It was really cheap. Here's the ornament on my Valentine tree. It looks great. I love this tree. So happy to still have a tree with lights in the dead of winter. You can see all the snow outside. <laughs> okay, and then, ooh, what do I want to show next? They're so good. I'll just show you this. I love this. Oh my gosh. It's a green chippy enamelware tea kettle. Tea, yeah, tea kettle, teapot. I don't know. It's pretty rusty inside. But I don't care. I'm obviously not going to use it for that. I might put some faux flowers in it. I'm planning to use this on my dining table for the spring. And uh, I have some blue. They're not flow blue, but they kind of look like flow blue. Uh, coffee cups or are they tea cups? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember, but they have saucers. And I thought this with those on like a tray would look really pretty on the table for the spring. And then maybe some flowers in here like in pinks or something. I don't know. I have these in front of me because I'm working on a DIY. But like these are from the Dollar Tree. Something like this, right? That'd be pretty, wouldn't it? I think that'd be pretty. Maybe some whites in there too. So anyway, that's what I'm planning to do with this. So this with the teacups and saucers, which I actually can use on a tray, I thought would be lovely as a centerpiece for the springtime because I just love that color green. Okay, and then the other two things I got, I got my first... Baby Ben, I'm so excited about it. You know, I love clocks and I don't have any of these. Oh my goodness. And I see them all over Instagram. People always find them and I never do. So I was super excited. This is legit. It's not a repro. So I thought that was really cool. I don't remember the price. I didn't pay too much for it. Maybe like $5. Here's where I tucked my little clock. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to have one. So cool. 
My dog is playing if you hear weird sounds. This is my current mantle. And I think it looks really cute there. And then, oh, this is probably my favorite thing. I am gonna insert footage of where this is going. Isn't this so cute? Recipe book, mom. Some little kid made this for his mom. Um, old homemade book, $3. But look it, it's like inside, they, he illustrated or she illustrated. And then you see it's the old like, what was that called? Mimeograph, you know, like the, you take the copy thing and you run it through the machine. I used to have to do that in school. I'm, I'm dating myself, but that's how you'd make copies. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, and they say, wow, these are old addresses. I don't know, is that Michigan? Am I, right? So, someone from Michigan, but that's a really old address. When, was that the postal code? Is that what that is? I don't even know. Maybe someone else can tell me. I don't know. But anyway, addresses of the ladies whose recipes these were, I guess. And I will also try some of the recipes, but I will show you where I'm putting this. It's going in my kitchen. It's so cute. I just love it. So let's insert footage now. Here's where I put the little recipe book. I think it looks so cute up here. Sad that it was donated by a family member, but I'm happy to rescue it and have it in our house. I think it looks cute with my display here. Okay, so, oops, there's one thing missing. I just realized I forgot to show you something. This is from the same store where I got the enamel bowl, that first store, I got this. Isn't this so cute? This is going to go on my front door, but like inside our storm door so it doesn't get wet because it's wool. But I just think it's so cute. It's like little felted hearts, adorable. So. I loved that and I think I paid, oh, there you go. It says $2 and I think it was 20% off. So I didn't even pay $2 for it. So I thought that was super, super cute. I love it. And yeah, it doesn't have a mark. Okay. It's only five degrees out, so I'm not gonna be out here too long, but that's my new wreath. Doesn't it look cute? And actually the camera's making it look darker than it actually looks in real life. The reds, oh, there, that's better. I adjusted the light. So cute for two bucks. I love it. I think it looks adorable. And see, with the storm door over it, it won't get wet. Not that there's any rain right now because everything's frozen, but we are actually expecting rain in a few days, which is really weird. It doesn't rain here in the winter generally, but anyway, that's all that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul from this week from those little stores that I went to. Actually, it's not from this week. This is probably from like two weeks ago. And then I did do a little thrifting this week. I didn't buy a ton, but I will I do, will have one video for you from that, plus Bins haul. So that'll be combined, I think, for Wednesday. But until my next video, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good start to your week. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.